All right, guys, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to capture your own HDRI, uh, reflective HDRI, because it's not going to be that accurate to place 3D objects in them. But you can capture the HDRI and uh, capture some uh, back plates of that area where you capture the HDRI and use the HDRI as a reflective uh, uh, world map to reflect on your objects on that back plate you took. So what you want to do, we're going to be doing this on Android. So what you want to do is go over to Play Store and then uh, type in the search bar Street View, as you're seeing here on my screen next to the Audify. So type in Street View on your Play Store search bar and you're going to find Street View just like the icon you're seeing here and then install it. So once you install it, you're going to have it on your screen like this and then you're going to go ahead and open it up. Just open up Street View and you're going to have this over here. So what you want to do is click on that camera down below with the plus icon on it. Click on it and then click whatever shows up and then go over to take photosphere. So that's what you want to click on. So this is what you're going to have. You're going to be in your area. So place the camera on the first point right that. And then it's going to give you more points. You want to go around and then keep placing your cam on those points. Keep it stable on each of those points all around and just keep going. Just keep going like that. So you're going to go all around 360 first, just like this, back to where you started. And I'm going to have one more in the middle. So now what you want to do is move on and do the rest that is above you. So as you can see, this is pretty simple. So if you want it to be more, more accurate, you, you might want to uh, take your time and then do it very carefully to have even better results but I can guarantee you're gonna have perfect results that's why I'm asking I mean I'm telling you guys to use this as a reflective HDRI uh, so when you're done with the top you want to go down below and then do the same down below as you can see that's my shadow showing right there All right, towards the end, you want to do a good job of making sure your feet doesn't show inside the HDRI. But in this one, I actually did a terrible job of doing that. So you're going to see my feet in the last part. Yeah, so that's my feet right there. So once you're done, you're going to click on that uh, green check mark you're seeing over there. And it's going to take time to publish it for you. So it's going to put things together for you. All right, so once you're done, you're just going to click on the one ready to publish. Just click anywhere in that area just to allow you to share the photo. And you're going to click on share right here. Right now, I'm reviewing. I mean, I'm previewing the HDRI. And you can see, as you can see, it's looking really great. But like I said, if you take your time to capture it, it's going to look even better. So just click on the share and go on to share privately. And then you can, I, I think the best way to share this is to send it to your email. There's no uh, other option to save it onto your drive, I mean your local drive. So just go over to email and then type in your email, send it to that email, and then you can download it later. So as you can see, I'm sending this to my second email. And I just hit send. So just type your email in there and then type send. I mean hit send. And that's pretty much it. You've captured your HDRI. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, hopefully, let's actually preview this in Blender. So you can see this is what it looks like in Blender. Pretty good. Nothing really major. Just import into Blender and you're good to go. Use your backplate however you want to and then you are good to go. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.